Welcome back everyone to Final Fantasy X. Dang it, I just pulled my mic. Um, uh, take two. Uh, hello, welcome back everyone to Final Fantasy X. Let's play. A as usual, Andrew, I am Andrew and I am recording. I'll be going by RSKOS though on YouTube. Hopefully the first episode will be coming out right about the time I'm recording this. It's currently being edited and uploaded. Yeah, I'm so new to the whole process. Hopefully it's coming out soon. Anyway, though, moving on. Hmm, this is the sketchiest bridge ever. Like, th th this bridge so sketch. What's this way? Better be something here. Ooh, treasure chest! High Potion. That's a weird name. Like, High Potion. High Potion? I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, moving on. But yeah, this bridge. How is that bridge standing up? Wait, what? That one shouldn't be standing at all. Those stones are glued together well, or. Whatever it's keeping it together. That's all I can say. Meanwhile, these... May not be glued quite as well. Oh wait, I can play. <laughs> that chest would be such a troll if I missed it. Oh my gosh. I can dive. How low can you go? Where am I supposed to go? the battle theme for this game. Oh my gosh, I love this theme. Okay. Wait, do I have... Out of curiosity... I can't escape now. So... Kill our fish! Wait, what do you think that's your name? I don't know. I don't know what that looks like. What do you think that's your name? Sahagin! Sahagin? I see not that bad, the Hagen. Oh my gosh, this music is epic. Something else is here. Monster Ribcake Fish. Okay, that's the name I'm giving it to what it's actually called. Genosageno. Genosageno? I'm gonna. Why can I attack myself? Wait. I'm clearly not going to do that. But Geogaseno, right? Okay. I'm just gonna call it Ribcage Monster. Because it has a ribcage for a stomach. Actually, how does it even keep its food in there? It's easy just. If it doesn't break out, it's easy just to swim out. It has cool arms, though. Like, like it has mouths for arms. Actually, I wonder if those are the mouths, actually. It only 
like it'd be good though to get eight five. So swim away! Is that like the very sketch platform from the earlier I was talking about or what? goes into the earth cage, like, it totally doesn't matter that. <laughs> Too close. And so I was only talking during that because there wasn't really much other talking going on. Any cutscenes with, like, lots of talking, I'll be quiet in. Well, we're not going back that way, that's for sure. That's out of the question. I made it out of the frying pan and into the freezer. I thought I was gonna die in this place. To be totally honest, it probably actually is fairly cold in here. I mean, it's damp, damp, it's damp, wet, stormy outside. It probably is actually kind of cold in here. Uh, yeah, moving on. See? There's just a giant hole in the steps. Sure. Jump scare! I hope that scared someone. If you need fire, there is some conveniently placed firewood right in the middle of this room. Yeah, so, so someone totally had a campfire here. With flint and tinder, you could start another fire. Okay, so we need to find some flint and tinder. However, first, you might have noticed in the next thing there is a save spot. Also, this song is actually kind of relaxing, I don't know why. So I'm gonna just save real quick. I'm gonna start new save data in case I have to fill the recording. Okay, wait, can I get through this door? I can! Oh, wait. <laughs> so you examine this thing and you see some kind of blue stone. Apparently that's supposed to be flint. I don't know in what world. Apparently in this one. Flint is blue and gray. That's how I checked it's just gray and kind of blackish. Oh well. If it starts a fire, it starts a fire. Good enough. Although these logs should, should be wet. Anyway, let's look for some tinder now. Basically, we're looking for anything that can burn. How about this? Some withered flowers have been left here. They have sucked too much water, rainwater up to serve as tinder. So yeah, these things are kind of so. Yeah, we can't use these. Shouldn't this room totally be flooded? I mean, look how much water is pouring in here. Ay ay ay. Also, that is a creepy statue. I really hope this. Wait, what? I can examine this? A creepy statue. I didn't think I could actually even examine that. Okay. So let's just head up here. Head up these. Cool looking steps with the rain pouring in. Oh, whoops. So here's the tender we need. Some nice dry withered bo withered flowers in a withered bouquet. However, you don't want to go back down those steps just yet, even though you have everything for the fire. You want what you want to do is head back into the main room from the upper floor here. Head along this way. Get a really good view of the wa rainwater pouring in, and we find another treasure chest. Gimme! Another high potion. I'm not gonna try and make some weird, like, pronunciation thing out of that. Okay. Heading. So now we just head back down to the very, once again, very conveniently placed firewood, and start us up to fire, which 
then make much sense with all this rain pouring in. Like, if the bouquet is too wet to use as firewood, then how is this gonna be any drier, you know? However, before we do that, I need to make a cut here. Okay, be back in a second. Okay, and we're back. So, time to get a fire started. Black fire! Don't know what I was doing with that. So, did he start a fire or did a lightning strike that exact spot? We, we may never know. I thought it was kind of bad to go to sleep right next to a fire. Unless being in a hard, po cold stone floor, I could probably not any good either. Especially with the people I need food! Tell it to the starving kids in Africa. <laughs> okay, what that was bad. Want? It was a bad call. Your team lost because of you. You came to say that? It's been... 10 years. <sighs> I thought you'd be crying. Who? Me? You cried. I want to learn from him how to sleep sitting straight up like that. We're being watched. Uh, hey! Wait! Wait! Uh, don't go out on me! Nah! Nah! Just hold on! I'll get more wood! Well, that went to fire, he trampled it. Give me a There's break! There's a wood knife in here. So, we just gotta kinda keep attacking over and over here. You missed! Ha ha! What's this thing called? Uh, click, 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 click. What's it called? I think it's just gotta click, click, click. Click, 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 click. I'm gonna go with click, click. Okay, so this thing is a click, click. We just gotta keep attacking the click, click over and over. Aw, uh, he didn't miss that time. How sad. Yeah, just keep attacking the click click. Get on, you stupid click click. On my side? Cool! I need to start waiting and getting better before I start talking. So yeah, we have a newcomer here who's not very good in talking, it looks like, yet. But seems to be very apt to help us take in this click click. I'm gonna keep saying it. So yeah, this person can use grenades. Turn items like grenades have special effects when used. These items can only be used during battles by selecting a special ability used. So, we got a special here. I, we can either steal or use. If you steal, you can take items, including grenades and stuff like that, from these enemies. However, we already have some grenades. So, why don't we use them? We have two grenades. Ugh, that damage. That's a lot. 
Why don't we use another? You want to use his grenades because the uh, question mark lady here, to be honest, doesn't do much damage on her own. At least not in this battle. Like, I'll shut. Why don't I. Oh, wait, I'm gonna this one now. Well, I can, I'll shut it off in a moment. Yeah. It's not nearly as much damage as Tidus is doing here. Oh, wait. Th I get tripped up when some characters go twice in a row. So. We're out of grenades now, so let's try and steal one. So, two grenades. Hopefully this click click should be do going down soon. Especially because Tidus is actually almost- Oh my gosh! T 2 HP. Oh thank goodness this thing, this thing died. If you don't know this thing, shame on you. Sa same with this theme from the last episode as well. So we got two ability spheres. We don't know what those are yet, but we'll figure them out later. But on top of that, we got 350 gil, or monies as I'm gonna call them. I just guess Kuno meant sorry. So our helper has proceeded to like <laughs> punch us in the gro groin so hard it knocked us out or something. Hey, that hurts! Musujek, rain! Whoa! Okay. Kainis! Right. Right. Do we I said I don't understand. Fed! He said you can stay if you make yourself useful. You... you understand me? All right, I'll work. So now we are on a strange ship. I'm gonna save again, because I have 2 HP! And these things also refill your health. I need this des- wait, which save is this? Hold on a moment. Okay, yeah, it's this one. Sorry for the little delay there. So let's see what we need to do, and see if we can talk to people here. I don't know what that means. It's the Tedamo! It's the Tedama to you as well. Uh Okay. Thank you. I don't know what you said, but thank you. <laughs> what about you? 
Oh, almost forgot. Ah, the sphere grid. I'm gonna just, like, I'm not reading all of this out loud. I'm gonna just go through this slowly for anyone who's, like, actually using this as a walkthrough. I imagine most people aren't, but just in case, then I kind of want to read through it as well, just to make sure I get everything right. Okay, this is a lot to read. You can just pause it because I already know what it means. Basically, these are what you use your levels for to grow stronger. It's kind of different because you can choose, like, you can actually, it's kind of like you use your levels in order to choose what you want to go stronger. Although, I don't know how much choice you actually have. Like, most of this actually kind of looks fairly really lin linear. Okay, you can pause that too. And remember those spears we got from earlier? This is what we use them for. Right now we only have ability spears. But that's exactly what we need there, because the next thing we can unlock is the ability cheer. I'm a little quiet in this section, but there's really not much to talk about, because I ain't reading all this out loud. You forget that. I could like explain this so much easier and faster. <laughs> However, I'm not gonna just stamp through the text and do it that way though. Oh, this one I've never come across though, because I've never got that far in this game. Locks. They cannot be opened right now. Actually, I might have got that far, I don't know. I've never actually used a lock, but I think I might have come across a tutorial in my own, like, time. I don't know. We'll see. Big spear grid. Also, you might notice that characters do appear to share a spear grid. So, some characters might end up intruding on other people's paths, depending on how you choose to play. I think that's where the choices come in. So now that we're out of- that's the wrong pause. Now that we're out of that, let's go to our spear grid. Also, I'm gonna say this right now. Don't waste anything on this person yet. Just Trust me, don't. Anything you can use, use it in Tidus. Or whatever you name your character. So let's move here. And use an ability spear to get cheer. Can I move again? No, I cannot. Okay. So we're done with the spear grid now. Let's see what else we can do. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. cheer. Let's look at cheer. Raises the party's strength and defense. So there we go. 
Okay. We found some ancient ruins right beneath us. It's not active now, but there should still be some power left. We're gonna go down there and activate it. And then we should be able to salvage the big... Okay, sorry for the uh, error there. It kind of just stopped on its own there. You only missed a split second. Sorry about that. It shouldn't happen again, hopefully. In fact, yeah. We're not gonna go in, in this episode for too much longer. I was hoping to get a lot, lot farther than this. However, we're almost past 30 minutes and... Well, oh, gosh. I'm glad for the thing, but that's gonna scare the pee out of me at some point in this game, isn't it? Very much the background. The, these things are a waste of time. Just attack these. You can use your grenade to like one hit all of them at once, but there's really no need. Just attack. We got a speed spear from that, but we didn't get any more levels to move. So we just go down this chain here, and those must be the ruins. So we just gotta keep following this chain. It's very, very long. Oh! This game is gonna give me a heart attack with these. Why is it so jarring? <laughs> These things are like easy, just EHP fodder. But you don't really get much for it, so. You just get a couple more spears. So if you want to grind for spears, I guess you can do that this early. However, you're not going to be getting any levels, really. Not many. I would have this working in the water, however, you know, I'm gonna save this again real quick. And I do believe this would be a good spot to end it. This would probably be a little shorter than the last video, but, and I didn't get as far as I would like to, but oh well. Next time, we'll more than make up for it. So next time, hopefully, we'll be able to see what is in these ancient ruins. And then maybe, maybe, finally get Titus his food that he so desperately craves. Okay, next time. Bye!